Hi guys, it's Miss Beth. Today we're gonna make sensory bottles. These are fun because the kids can help make them and then play with them after. So what you're gonna need is a plastic bottle with a screw on lid, um, some water, some vegetable oil, hand soap, um, people have used corn syrup, anything that will that's thicker than water so that it can make everything move. You can add some food coloring if you want, you don't have to. And then something else to put in the sensory bottle. I'm using colored rocks. You can use buttons, you can use glitter, just about anything you want. Um, googly eyes we've used, pipe cleaners, sticks, just about anything. I'm gonna start with some water. So we're gonna pour some water in. And the amount you pour in doesn't really matter compared to the oil, you can do a half and half, you can do more water, more oil, whatever you feel. And then I'm gonna put some of my rocks in. All right, so now we're gonna add some rocks. Chloe decided to watch TV while I'm doing this. So. Again, how many you put in, completely up to you or up to the kids. This is something the kids can definitely get involved in. We're gonna do some vegetable oil. I'm gonna add some red food coloring. All right, now parents, this is where you're gonna to wanna to glue on the lid, especially if you have younger kids because you don't want them getting off that lid and putting it in their mouth or choking. Um, and let that lid dry before you let the kid play with it. And then if you look, there's your sensory bottle. And the kids enjoy watching the stuff move inside. They enjoy watching the oil separate from the water. They enjoy watching the colors separate as the dye sticks to one and not the other. So there you go, something fun you can do with the kids and you probably have most of the stuff at home. So enjoy it and I hope you're all doing well. Have a nice day.